next week, the first week of 2016 begins on January 4th, um, which, and this begins with PMIs, Purchasing Managers Indices. First comes China with the independent PMI, not the uh, government one on Friday. It's more important. Let's see if the Chinese economy is doing well. Most important for the Aussie, but also for other currencies because China is the second largest economy. We need a stronger China. Um, we have the US ISM manufacturing PMI also on Monday. This is the first hint for the non farm payrolls coming on Friday. Uh, manufacturing in the United States has been weak. Well, all over the world, manufacturing is the weaker link, especially in the developed world. Um, that will serve as the first hint. We have the employment component there as well. And Tuesday, we have milk prices in New, Ze in New Zealand. Let's see if they continue rising. And the Kiwi, which stands out as one of the strongest currencies, if it can continue rising. And we have inflation numbers from the Eurozone, the preliminary numbers for December. This will be interesting to watch and the key for the Euro. And Wednesday, we have the ADP on from payrolls, only private payrolls, but certainly has an impact and a big hint towards the NFP. And another big hint is the ISM non-manufacturing PMI, the services sector in the United States, the vast majority of the US economy. And uh, yeah, on Thursday, uh, nothing, uh, that really stands out, but quite a few events as well. And on Friday, the big event of the week, U.S. non-farm payrolls, uh, the last jobs report for 2015. Of course, these figures are revised. So we'll have sort of a full picture for uh, the year and see how well the, how many jobs the U.S. economy gained for the year and how many in December and the unemployment rate. And of course, wages, wages are critical. In uh, November, we had, uh, sorry, in um, October, we had an excellent rise of 2.5% year over year. In December, it was a bit weaker, 2.3. That's important to watch. And we have a jobs report also in Canada. That's expected to, um, it's of course, uh, the Canadian dollar is a bit vulnerable. Let's see if uh, the job situation improves a bit over there in the cold winter. And yeah, so we have a very busy week uh, next week. Usually the first week of the month is busy. The first week of the year is extremely busy because everybody's back from holiday, volume is high, liquidity is high, um, and yeah, uh, and of course, traders are back to markets after the holidays. Um, we'll be here every day next week. In some European countries, there is a holiday on um, on December. I'm sorry, on January sixth, the Epiphany, if I'm not mistaken. This includes Spain, but don't worry, uh, I'll be here also on Tuesday and um, covering the events of the day. Anyway, um, it's expected to be quite, quite a busy week after a sleepy holiday season. Okay.